What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to The Minority Mindset. So, how do you make money in real estate? Well, there's lots of different ways. But what if I don't have any money? Don't worry, there are options for you. Well, what if I have lots of money? Still don't worry, there are options for you too. Real estate is a whole industry of its own. So in this video, I wanna go over six ways you can make money in real estate. The first way you can make money in real estate is by being a real estate sales agent. You don't need a whole lot of money to become a real estate sales agent, but most places do require you to take a class and pass an exam. Now you don't need a real estate license to buy real estate. The license is so you can help other people buy or sell their properties and make a commission on that. You're usually paid a percentage of the sales price of the home. So if a home sells for a million dollars, you'll typically make between two and 6% of that depending on how many agents are involved and where you're located. But you're not just limited to homes. Once you get your real estate license, you can be a broker for any kind of real estate. So you can sell apartment complexes, office space, land. So it's a good way to network and meet people that are involved in real estate. When you get your real estate salesperson license, you have to join a brokerage who's supposed to guide you and help you make money because the more money you make, the more money your broker makes. That also means that you'll probably have access to a lot of free sales classes and training because your broker wants to see you become very successful because that's how they get paid. I do want you to keep in mind that the world is moving digital so the demand for traditional real estate agents isn't what it used to be so if this is something that you want to do remember that you have to be creative. The second way to make money is by being a real estate wholesaler. When you wholesale a product you buy it for cheap and then you sell it for a higher price and the difference is your profit. It's the same with real estate except this time you don't have to put in any money to buy the property. You let somebody else do that. To give you a simple example, you would enter into an option contract to buy a home for $100,000. You're not gonna put in any money yourself, but you're gonna go out and find a buyer for the home. And once you do that, you're gonna sell them the contract to buy the home for $110,000. That $10,000 difference is what you get to keep. And if you can't find a buyer, you get to tear up the contract and you don't owe anybody anything. You're not improving the property or putting in any of your own money. You're connecting people who can't sell their home with people who couldn't normally buy a home. In most places, you do not need a real estate license to do this because you're not actually selling real estate. You're technically just selling a contract, but you should always speak to an attorney in your area so you understand your local laws. You might be thinking, huh, Jasprit, I don't know, that sounds a little crazy. Are you sure? Well, I can tell you from experience because... I used to have a real estate wholesaling business and it got me my first magazine feature when I was 21 or maybe 22. When you're wholesaling real estate, you can't cater to everybody. You have to find a special type of buyer and a special type of seller. All the parties understand how you're getting paid and they're all happy because the seller's selling a home that they couldn't normally sell, the buyer's buying the home that they wanted and you, well, you're making everybody happy and you're getting paid for it. If you wanna learn more about real estate wholesaling or see if it's right for you, I'll put a link to somebody else's webinar on real estate wholesaling in the caption below if you wanna check it out. The third way and my favorite way to make money in real estate is by investing in real estate. When you invest in real estate, you buy real estate for the long term while letting somebody else use your property in exchange for rent payments every single month. One way to do this is by buying single family homes. You buy a home and then every single day a tenant lives in your home, you get paid. But you're not limited to single family homes either. You can invest in any kind of real estate. You can buy an office space, a retail building, or an apartment complex. You buy this property once and then you get paid forever because the tenants use it. Plus, if you know what you're doing and you buy in the right area, your rent payments are gonna go up every year and your property will become more valuable. So not only can you make more money every year, you can sell your property for more than what you bought it for. Some of the properties I bought around 2011 are now worth five or six times what I Pay for them because the market was so depressed at the time and the best part is that these properties are still paying me every single month and I don't have to do any work. If you're interested in learning more about this, I wrote an ebook on money and investing. It's completely free and you can read it on our website by clicking the link up here or by clicking the link in the caption below. The fourth way to make money is by working as a property manager or by working with a property manager. When you're a property manager, you're hired by the real estate investor to manage their investments. So you'll be the one in communication with the tenant to make sure that they pay rent on time. You'll be the one making sure that the bills are paid and you'll be the one making sure that the tenants are taken care of 
the property. Property management is a good way to get experience with real estate investing without investing your own money because you'll be the one running and managing the real estate investment. The fifth way to make money is by flipping real estate. You've probably seen people flipping homes on TV. You find a home that needs work and then you buy it and then you renovate and remodel it hoping you can sell it for a higher price. I'm personally not a fan of flipping real estate because it's so speculative and if you buy a home to flip it at the wrong time, you're pretty much screwed. You don't know how much money you're gonna be able to sell the property for and every day you own the property, you're losing money, so you wanna sell it as fast as possible. That's why I prefer real estate investing. Every day I own the property, I get paid and I don't really have to do any work. Now, there are people that make good money flipping real estate, it's just not for me. I prefer the passive investments. And the sixth way to make money in real estate is by becoming a real estate developer. Real estate development is when you build something from the ground up and then you sell it or lease it or a mixture of the two. When you develop real estate, you have to be creative and think outside of the box. It's just like starting a business. You're creating something new that doesn't exist and your job is to attract the most customers as possible. The more demand you can create for your development, the more customers you will have and the more money you'll make. Development is different than investing because when you invest in real estate, you're buying something that already exists. Yeah, you might do some rehab or some renovation, but for the most part, you're just buying an income stream. There's a lot of skill required to develop real estate because there's so many moving parts. You gotta deal with architects, city planners, and contractors who all have their own opinion, but you can also make the most money because you're creating something brand new. So real estate has opportunities for everyone. You just have to find what's right for you because there's really no limit to what you can do in real estate. And as they say, Rich people keep their money in real estate. What's up everybody? If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. And are you doing something in real estate or want to do something in real estate? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please share it with at least one friend so we can help spread the word. Every single week I release new videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money. So if you don't want to miss them, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell below. And check out some of our latest videos by clicking these buttons. And as always, keep hustling.